Seriously, upon here with episode one of Bucket Coding. I'm very excited for this episode. It's my first one, so yeah. We just get to do what I love, just code some Java right here. <laughs> so once you get everything set up, you put your crafts bucket or spigot um into your external jars and whatnot. There should be tons of videos on how to do that. So yeah, this is just for the coding, not the configuration and stuff like that so yeah uh, to today we're gonna cover player interaction for example uh, if a when a player right clicks an item or right clicks a block or steps on a pressure plate or something like that so yeah that's what we're gonna do here today so this is the main class as you see this is the only class which means it's the main one I think so yeah the main class needs to extend Java plugin and that's the only that's the only uh, class in the whole plugin that could have this feature so yeah it could it, it could extend other classes but only the main class can extend the Java plugin hope that made sense so since we're doing the interact the player interactions we're going to be using event handlers therefore we need to implement um listeners or just list listen what is that oh okay <laughs> part of my spelling dang okay there you go so just going to write a public void on enable and open a class body so yeah this method is called whenever the plugin is um, enabled public vo public void on disable fires obviously when the plugin is disabled but we're not going to be using that one so yeah um on the un on enable we're just gonna register this listener so we're gonna we, oh, we want to do bucket dot get plugin manager which is that bottom run right there and most of them end uh, with parentheses unless they're um, a class name or something of that sort so yeah just another dot it's basically just filtering down to what we want it to do so yeah get plugin manager register events this and this now these are uh, referring to the class and plugin so yeah we're registering this class if we want to register another class we will do new class it's gonna have an error right, error right now because um, we don't have a class named class so yeah <coughs> excuse me so yeah with event handlers you always want to do at event handler this is a very common mistake people make is that they don't put that at event um that event handler tag and they spend just countless hours trying to debug their code when they just don't have that little tag right there so yeah this is going to be a public void you can name this whatever you want um on right click I suppose and this is going to fire when a player interacts with an item so yeah you can just put event over there that's just a variable variable name so yeah just gonna import all that stuff using control shift and O so yeah if we do event dot you'll see there are get action which means did the player right click did they left click did they right click a block etc etc and the get item is I don't really use that that often but it gets the um, item the player is holding so yeah get player obviously gets the player that does the interacting um, you can do set use interactive block I don't even know that existed you can 
cancel the event using set cancel and boolean means it's either true or false so yeah what we want to do is event got dot event dot get action and uh, make that a variable so action action equals event dot get action just gonna import action enter you can name this whatever you want of course because it's a variable so yeah and we want one more variable the type is gonna be player we're gonna name it player and it's gonna return um the player that interacted so we're just gonna import player so yeah uh we're gonna have an if statement statement uh to see what um if the action uh fits into the criteria so if action equals action dot uh right click air or this is a java operator um that two the two straight lines means or um this means and we want or in this case so yeah or if action equals right click block and then we just want to open the class body so if the action if the player right clicks right clicks air or right clicks a block uh, the code in this class body is going to get executed so yeah um we want another if statement to check what the player is holding I just do player get item in hand right there uh, get you can get amount get data get durability over here we want to um, do get type so we know what did the player click what did the player have in his hand um, so yeah so yeah let's make it an anvil why not if a player right clicks the air or a block and they have an anvil in their in um and if they're holding an anvil then what's in this class body that's the code that's going to be executed so yeah that's basically what java is in my eyes it's just filtering down until you get what you want and then you just do whatever you want with that condition right here you can do player uh, you can add a potion effect right there you can send them a message you can kick them of course so yeah and the there's one argument in this send message and that argument is a string for those of you who don't know java a string is basically like text that's in in quotations so yeah this is not in quotations because it's not going to be the text this is just to um, determine the font or color whatever you want to say so yeah just gonna make the message bold you do plus uh, now we enter the message we want so hello YouTube's okay <laughs> so basically what this does is it gets the player that interacted with the um, um, or just gets the player that interacted and if the player fits into all these conditions then we're gonna send them a message and that message is gonna be bold and it's gonna be hello YouTubes so yeah oh uh, you can add multiple stuff like you can do to string plus chat color red and that'll work if you don't do um dot to string it's gonna throw an error because there needs to be a string in between so yeah that's our plugin Make sure I have everything correct. Yeah, everything looks good. I'm just gonna export it. And yeah. 
Open up on Minecraft. Okay, so here's my um, testing server. Let's just get an info real quick. And it says, hello, YouTubes. Sorry about that. And as you see, there are no errors while executing this code. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we can have it do something else like, this is a bit advanced if you're a beginner. We're gonna set their velocity and that's basically used for launch pads, double jumping, and all that stuff. So we wanna get the player's location, get direction. Oh, we don't have to do that actually. Yeah, just player, get velocity, set Y, um, two. So they go two units. We just we can just get rid of that. Oh, imports because we don't use chat color no more. So this is just gonna send the player two units, um, up. So yeah reload the server and as you see it's executing the code um, flawlessly so yeah that's good and that's about it for this episode guys uh, hope you enjoyed